All right. Um, what we're going to do now, oh, that's a five halves T, isn't it? All right. So what we do, guys, um, we need to solve for T on this problem. All right. Now, when solving for T on this problem, we have a big issue because we don't have one T. Right? It's very easy when we had something like this. Um, t plus 3 equals 4, right? Well, we only had one t to solve for, so we subtracted the 3, and we got t equals 1. And we were good, right? It was easy. Well, now we have three t's. So what we need to do is we need to combine those t's down to 1. Now, to even make combining like numbers harder, we have fractions now induced. So there's nothing wrong with adding 5 halves and then subtracting t from it and figuring that out. What you have to do is you have to change this to a fraction by multiplying 2 over 2, which 5 halves minus 1, all right? This doesn't have the same denominator, so you'd have to multiply by 2 over 2. So you get 5 halves minus 2 over 2, which equals 3 halves. So if you guys remember the coefficient of t is 1, so we could do that. However, I don't want to deal with fractions right now. I, mean, I don't know if it's my headache I got going on or what. But I'm not going to deal with fractions. So you guys can remember, if you don't want to deal with fractions and you can't do your fraction operations, get rid of them. So the way that we can get rid of fractions is look at our denominator. All right? And if you have different denominators, then you're going to want to, call, you're going to, want to take the lowest multiple of those two denominators, what we call the least common multiple. And what we're going to do is we're going to divide every single number times our denominator or least common multiple. So I'm going to multiply this by 2, this by 2, this by 2, and this number by 2. Okay? Therefore, these cancel out and those two cancel out because 2 divided by 2 gives you 1. Therefore, I'm left with 5t minus 2t equals 6 plus 3t. Now, it's much easier for me to combine like terms, right? Because fractions, nobody likes adding subtracting fractions. They have to do the common multiple. It just, God, it, all, it just gets tedious. So, but here it's easy. 5t minus 2t, right? is going to equal 3t. Ooh, I'm doing pretty good, right? Guess what I did? I went down from 3t's, now I'm down to 2t's, right? Now I need to get to my last t. So I need to subtract uh, a t on both sides. So I subtract the t here, and I subtract 3t over here. And what I get is 0 equals 6. Is 0 ever equal to 6? No. no. Now, here's a problem. 0 is never going to equal 6, will it? So here's one way you guys can say. So this is what we call no solution. And the reason why this is no solution is if you guys look at this equation, what if I plugged in a number in for t? Let's say I plugged in a number. If I plugged in the number 0, I get 0 equals 6, right? If I plug in the number 1, I get 3 is equal to 9. So guess what? There's not a number we can use for t that these will ever be equal to each other. Because look at it. No matter, if I, whatever I put in for t here, I have to put that same number for t here, right? But then on the right side, I'm always going to add 6. So these two are never going to equal each other. So therefore, this is what we call no solution. All right? But the main important thing I want to do is also show you guys how to cross out those fractions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.